Hi friends, and welcome back to another episode of Faith From Above. Today we have Carlos with us, one of our college students, and he has recently been out on a literature evangelism project, and he has a fascinating experience that he would like to share with us. Carlos, the time is yours. Thank you. Well, I did have a very fascinating time. Um, it was at Rochester, Minnesota, and that was my second time being there, and it was a huge blessing, you know, and, uh, you know, Going over there, I really thought that God really sent me there for this one specific purpose. And that purpose was to meet um, this guy called Tony. But before mm -hmm. I get into that, you know, I'm going to just introduce on how that was able to happen. And so it began whenever I was uh, in a laundry place with, you know, all my other fellow canvassers mm -hmm. discussing things like uh, the Sabbath, the righteousness by faith, and all that. Mm -hmm. And um, so so happened that uh, this person within the laundry store knew what we were talking about. He himself was mm -hmm. an Adventist, and it was a great experience. And he was talking about how um, he was talking about how his manager, like he was working over here, mm -hmm. uh, Rochester, Minnesota, and how he was trying to reach the Muslim community, mm -hmm. but then he was, you know, trying to get work. Mm -hmm. And so he uh, signed up to work at this uh, automobile parts place and uh, he actually you know said no working on the Sabbath no working on Saturday and all mm -hmm. that and the manager was like well why is this mm -hmm. well what's, what's, what's the reason mm -hmm. and then he was like well the seventh the seventh day commandment um, fourth commandment and uh, he himself was, ca was Catholic the manager mm -hmm. and he was like I never heard this and so I was impressed to actually go up and uh, canvas that Friday just to talk to him but he was super busy mm -hmm. and uh, couldn't do it that day. Mm -hmm. However, the last week of um, the program, the camps leader sent me off um, in this strip of businesses, ending up going over to the automobile place again. Oh, wow. And so from there, I was getting donations, a lot of donations. Um, really, God was really blessing. And then from there, I went to the automobile place and he was free. You know, no, and the, like it was super easy to contact mm -hmm. him and all that. I was like, yeah, sorry. He was like, sorry about that. I, I was so busy. I mm -hmm. couldn't, could talk to you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no worries, no worries. But then I talked to him, talked to him about the books. You know, specifically the Great Controversy, because that's the book I'm most passionate about. And I knew it would help him see mm -hmm. the context of the Sabbath. Yeah. And so from there, I um, went through it all and all that. And he was like, listen, man, the only thing I read is, he said, listen, the only thing I read is the Bible. And mm -hmm. so I was like, listen, God sent me all the way up here to Rochester, Minnesota, so you can have this book. And uh, I, I also pointed out, because um, the Adventist that I talked to, he was saying how, how he came from um, a southern part of America and the United States, and how God led, he, he himself believed that God sent him up there. Mm -hmm to Minnesota for a pur pur purpose. And so I I said, listen, God sent you all the way up here for a reason <laughs> as well. And so I was like, please, I was begging with him, please get the great controversy. And it's like, listen, God, he said back to me, he said, listen, God came up, uh, came, uh, wanted to send you over here for me to help you get through school. Mm. And, he's, and then I'm like, listen, all right, let's go. And then he gave me uh, $40. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, I begged him, please, please get the great converse. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, he, he silently got it. And I was like, oh man, this is very, very good. Mm -hmm. and, and it just felt like, man, this has made my whole program. Mm -hmm. It made my whole day. And it was a, such a blessing because I knew that those seeds of truth that was planted by the Adventists we met in the laundry place will grow to fruits, fruits and through that book. And uh, from there, it was really powerful and we prayed we prayed mm -hmm. you know um, 
so I saw the Lord and it really, really was a powerful experience because I knew that God sent me there. No matter, I, you, I can't with a lot of people, but that person was super special. He mm -hmm. had to get it. And it's just such, what's a beautiful thing that God set up. So yeah. Wow, praise God, Carlos. That's a beautiful testimony. So God used Carlos, a college student, sent him all the way up to Minnesota to reach this one person. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like to have experiences um, in literature evangelism, check out our website, ohc.org. And if you'd like to hear more inspiring videos like this, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and so that you'll be able to see more videos. Thank you. Mm -hmm.